Hey guys, Sammy here from Feeding the Frasers. We are here at Traeger Grills headquarters and today we're gonna make some roasted garlic. So here's what we've got. We've got a couple bulbs of garlic, whole, salt, pepper, olive oil, a dish, and some foil. We're gonna start by cutting the tops off, then we'll rest them in here, we'll salt, pepper them, and add the olive oil. I also like to take some of this thin paper skin off, but we're gonna leave most of it wrapped. We're not trying to take all of it, just the loose stuff. So if you massage it down like that, some of the loose paper will come off, and that's really where we want it. Got our olive oil here. We're gonna get some on top. Make sure it's all nicely covered. And then we're gonna salt and pepper. That's pretty much it. These bad boys are ready to be covered and put on our preheated Traeger grill at 400 degrees. It's gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes. It just depends on the size of the bowl. So we'll check it once we get to that 30, 40 minute mark. If it needs a little bit more time, we'll just let them rest. We'll know they're done when they're nice and golden brown and they're a little soft to the touch. Okay, so this one is tightly wrapped and ready to hit the grill. Once again, we're going 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes, just depends on the size of your bowl. I do have a finished one ready to show you guys. It smells amazing and the color is perfect. All right. So as you can see, nice and golden brown. I'm gonna show you guys this here. We've got some popping bulbs out and I'm gonna see how it's nice and squishy. I've already made some finger dents from when I tested it earlier. The best part about this, when you roast the garlic, it really changes the flavor and miles out that sharpness. Um, so I can eat a clove of garlic right out of here, whereas you might not wanna do that when it's raw. Pops right out. Mm. So good, so smooth, and a really strong garlicky taste. So you can take a fork as well and kind of poke these out and they just pop out. We're not necessarily looking to keep them in their shape because we're likely gonna make them into a paste or toss them into um, a compound butter. So it's okay if you smush them up a little bit while you're taking them out. And there you have it, roasted garlic.